Hello beautiful people. In this request last little guide video, we'll take a look at the BF110 G2 model. And from all the different weapon loadouts, we are specifically going to look at the 37mm cannon. Hope you enjoy. Sailed Road. Can you do a BF110 G2 cast guide? This might be a little stretch to call this video a guide or a how-to video, but I'm still gonna call it that both in the description and in the video title itself. So you tell me if it's good enough or I should change the title. Let's start off with some pros and cons for the BF110. Good flight characteristics. The BF110 platform is a good and stable aircraft with no nasty surprises. Top speed at 6200 meters is just shy of 600 km an hour and closer to the ground in a cast roll you can expect speeds close to 500 km an hour flying in a straight line with whip. Turn time is 24 seconds, which is pretty good for such a large and heavy aircraft. Compared to the earlier F and C models, the D models are faster and have better rate of climb. Wing speed is high with about 750 km an hour, and combat and takeoff flap speeds are also good with around 450 km an hour. Another good thing about this airplane is that when you land, you can hit the brakes and keep them on as soon as you touch down. I never had a nose over in the BF110 G2. Powerful armament. The whole BF family of planes, and especially the G2 model, can carry incredible powerful weapon loadouts, but I'll come back to that later. Survivable. The G2 can take a huge speeding and still be airborne so you can limp back to the airfield. Even with one engine gone, you can still reach speeds of close to 300 km an hour. The plane is also equipped with a lot of armor protection. Of course that does not help with agility, but it keeps you alive to some degree. You'll find armor plates in the wings and at the engines protecting the liquid cooling systems. There are armor plates protecting the pilot and the gunner, both to the front and rear, but also in the bottom of the fuselage protecting their crown jewels. And some of the cons. Agility depending on loadout. As mentioned before, you can carry very powerful loadouts, but of course that comes at a price. Depending on what you choose, the BF110 definitely can become heavy and not as responsive as you would have hoped for. For instance, when you use the 37mm cannon and the rockets, you need to be careful on a dive. Especially in the very first dive you do on ground targets after you spawn in. It's very easy to misjust your speed and before you know it, you have reached 600km an hour, have target fixation and can pull out of the dive in time. It happens all the time and it's something you constantly need to have in mind. Mark 108 cannons. I have now more or less learned how to aim with the 30mm cannons and I'm a big fan of their damage output. But their most velocity is low and you need a lot of Kentucky windage in order to put the shells on the target, especially in a dogfight. If you think you have enough lead, you don't and when you think this is way too much, you're probably going to hit. Rear gunner has no gun depression. This is very common when you have only a single rear gunner but it still presents an issue that you have to maneuver the BF-110 itself in order to defend from fighters behind and below you. And it's super annoying and there's just nothing you can do about it. All these cannons you can see here are the 20mm 151s, except for two of them. The lowest line where there's only one cannon and the line where there are four rockets and one cannon in the middle. Those two loadouts are with the 37mm cannon. So when talking about loadout for cast runs, you're definitely having a lot of options here. For instance, you can pick the loadout of the two cannons, a 1000kg bomb and a 250kg bomb, or four extra 20mm cannons and four extra 21cm rockets. Although you can use these rockets against ground targets, they're best used against bombers. That's because the rocket launchers themselves are angled upwards. And I have made a video specifically on how to use these rockets against bombers. And there's a notation right up there in the corner and they will also be in the video description. So if you're interested in finding out how these rockets are intended to be used correctly, go watch that video after this one of course. You can also find these rockets on some fighters in the German tech tree and a couple of planes in the Italian one. And of those aircraft, these rockets are much easier to use since the rocket launchers are not aimed upwards. So originally the 37mm cannon and the 21cm rockets were used against bombers. I'm pretty sure though that the vast majority of players using the BF110 G2 model is using it as a cast plane. Although in this video I'm going to concentrate on using the 37mm cannon with the h wrap round, you can see here on the right that there's also an HE pedal available for it. 
and that is mainly used if you want to go bomber hunting with it. And it's actually super fun to use that plane in this role as well. One of the reasons for the h drive ammo being so effective against tanks is the mass velocity. With 1170 meters a second, whenever the armor piercing shell hits some armor, it can really dig through it. The 142 and 140 millimeters of armor pin at 10 and 100 meters is sort of irrelevant. It's much better to look at the 500 meter mark and the 97 millimeters of armor pin. And then sort of split the difference and then say that your armor pin will be around 110 to 120 millimeters. Which means attacking from above, there isn't any armor that can withstand that kind of armor pin. So if you hit a tank and don't pin, it's definitely because of ricochet, it's not because of lack of armor penetration. All the KVs can actually be a problem for you. From this angle, no problem. 81 millimeters and down here, 95 millimeters. But as you can see here, the armor is pretty flat, which also means if you attack from a much deeper angle, you're suddenly presented with 243 millimeters and you cannot pin that. So either whenever you're fighting KVs, you need to come very low. But often maps won't allow you to do that. So your only other option to get consistent results is to attack from above at a very steep angle. But it also means that you need to be at a pretty high altitude in order to get to such an attack angle. And you really need to be careful and look at your speed in order not to hit the tank with the aircraft and not the shell. But this problem is mostly whenever you face KV-2s. A regular KV does not have these crazy angles on the armor, but it's still much more difficult to ping compared to a T-34. Over the abandoned factory. And let's see... We have some marks in the middle. Now I got... Got three kills on Bravo before I got checking out finally overwhelmed. Okay, something down there. Oh, this is going to be a steep dive. This is need to be careful with this. Uh, 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 okay. It's just difficult to... Oh, never mind, he's out there. Let's try this then. Oh. Okay, got his drivetrain and killed the driver and I killed the bow gunner. So that means there's, let me just see if I can swing it around with takeoff flaps too. So he's not moving right now. I would like to see if I could. There we go. One on nine. We still have air super already. Air super rare or uh, that. Uh, okay, so let's see. They grabbed Alpha. Can I? Uh, I can see him from. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Maybe if he got another crit on that guy. Let me just. Move away from that area. Get low, get some speed, and then rush to the occasion again. And how many aircraft do we have up? Well, a lot. Okay, so T-34 and Alpha, I'm not sure, he probably moved on again. Oh, okay. Somebody down there. Did they get him? They did get him. Something down here then. Ah. 
Wait a minute. Oh, I did get a hit on him. And I thought it was enough to, for a crit. Looks like I killed a bow gunner. And then took out his uh, white track, but I didn't get any indication of uh, of a crit. And he's still down there. Let me just try this again then. Still have 32 rounds left. And I got his driver. He got a good whack on me though with his uh, coax gun. That was pretty nice. And thank you for killing the Chisma. There we go. I thought I heard a M4 down here. The yep, there he is. 19 rounds left. Oh, I can see him, but... Let's see what he's gonna do. Kill his track, kill his drivetrain, or transmission rather, so he's not moving. So I'm just gonna waste my, uh, or spend my 13 rounds I had left in this pass. He's probably waiting for me though, so let's just see. Is that him? Nice. Okay. I'm not gonna bother about the last eight rounds. I'm just gonna head home. Since I'm back here anyhow. Probably not gonna make it though, but I got two kills out of it right and then an assist I think, so that's still fine. I don't know if you noticed, but just all those crits I make, made uh, made them dead in the water, and that happens so often with the BF110, and that's what's great about it with the 37. You might not always get a kill, but you're definitely getting an assist if, of course, they're getting killed by somebody else, or you're stopping them dead in the tracks, forcing them to, to do a lengthy repair uh, in the open. That's also a uh, great help for the team. Okay, over the Burger King White Castle rock map. Uh, okay, something. Ah, there are two planes. That sucks. Hey, what is this? Oh, oh. Flying, uh, flying the wrong way. You know what? That's funny. I thought I had enough speed so I could, uh, I had time to turn around. I just lost the sight of him for a second though. Let's try this again then. Ah, fuel leak. Well, 
that's fine as long as only feudal league, I think. Uh, the enemy is winning. We've got to counter attack. Let's see. Okay, something down here. Uh. Ooh, nice. Nice turret hit. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Okay. Something. Ah. We don't have the advantage anymore. Okay, so when I uh, took off, we had all three of them. Everything had just turned blue, and now everything had just turned yellow. In, uh, sorry, red. In a matter of a few seconds, uh, speed five went down. And I'm not sure where that guy is. Hmm. Uh, uh oh, I don't like that sound. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that was close! Holy crap! Eee. Rudder, rudder, rudder! I think somebody's upset. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ooh, look at that. That was sweet. Come on, plane. Just let me survive until the match is over. Oh, yay. <laughs> yes, I am on my way. Do not despair. Okay, let's see. So, we have just one guy, sorry for the squeaky chair, who uh, spawned in. Ah, little biplane. Idle 2. That's a fighter of some kind. So, let me just. Okay, he's gone. Oh, there we go. Is that a Churchill? Oh, damn it. The mouse is freaking out a little. Ah, okay, well, let me just... Oh, okay. Kill assist. Did he... Is he coming after me? He is coming after me. Okay. That's fine. Hmm. Did he give up? Why is there a better target? Ah, there is. Okay, well, let me go back and help. My wing is a little messed up though already. Ah, uh, uh, okay, so... Nice. Oh, he <laughs> completely broke apart. Oh, sweet, they got him. Let's just... Nice, 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 nice. Okay. I'm still in the game. Uh... 
And of course, now I'm heading over 55 billion anti-aircraft vehicles. Let's just try against that M4. Yep, 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 as I suspected. There we go, okay. Did get some crits on him, didn't I? I think I did. So let's try... Uh... What if I attack from this angle and if I'm lucky, maybe I can dive on that anti-aircraft vehicle. Enemy forces have captured a zone. Uh. Thanks. Oh, Attention to the map. Nice. Attention Actually got him. <laughs> My plan worked. Okay, let's swing this baby around again then. Flaps in, get some speed. Webbity web. I think that's an M4. Can insist on whatever. Ah, okay. I got the engine on the M4. Sadly, I missed M24. Whoop, 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 whoop. Plenty of ammo left. Oh, we have a 219. You know what? I actually got that on a, on a, on a, whenever I had the sales. But I have not played it. At, oh! M4, I guess he uh, hasn't had that guy spaded. I'm not sure why he would give that guy up. Uh, moving down here. Ah, no, oh, that was really, oh, that sucked. I could have had that M10. I don't see any other aircraft up. And they're both dead. Is that guy dead too? No, he's not dead. Oh, he is. Well, still got an assist on him. Uh, let's see. Wow, okay, only two guys left. That was a pretty fun round, a pretty good round for the 110. I'm super happy about this result. Come on. That's fun. That was about it for this video. If you like the content, please do me a solid and subscribe, like or comment. I've added some links in the video description below, both for other relevant videos on the channel, but also for more direct ways for you guys to support your channel if you wish to do so. Thank you for watching and until next time, remember to deploy your die breaks. Have a good one.